Okay, here we have 2.5 domain and range of ordered pairs. So it says, suppose that the relationship or the relation G is defined as follows. So G is a set of four different points. It says, give the domain and the range of G. Write your answers using set notation. Okay, well, we need to understand what the word domain means and what the word do range means. So domain is the set of all first components. In this case, that means specifically the X coordinates. because we are given coordinates x, y, x, y, x, y, right? The range is the set of all second components. You can also think of this as inputs and outputs. That's gonna become important later when we get more into that function notation. Okay, now second components for these particular problems is the Y coordinate. Okay, so if I want to answer what the domain is in set notation, it just means you need to have a brace and then your list. Okay, since this is not a continuous function, it's literally just one, negative five, negative four, negative four, and that's it, nothing in between. You just write the answers in as a list inside the braces. So the x values I have is 1, negative 5, and negative 4. You do not need to repeat negative 4 because it's already here in the list. Just the distinct x values go inside that list. Now, for the range, we're going to have the list of the distinct y values. So I have negative one for the first y value, negative one again, but it's already on the list, negative six, and then zero. And so this is the domain and the range of this particular um, ordered pair, okay, set. Sometimes you might have things that say like dog um, and light, cat and dark. Um, fox and light, something like that. And that may be your function that you're given. Okay. And if that's the case, the domain in this problem is going to be dog, cat, and fox, because those are all the first components. And then the range would be light and dark because those are all the second components and you don't need to list a certain component twice. It's already represented the first time, okay? So I just want you to understand, in this problem, the first components were X coordinates and the second components were Y coordinates, but it may not necessarily be points. So even if they give you um, an abstract uh, relationship like this, you still could be able to find the domain and the range of it.